Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and Jack created a chicken. So, friends, I'm here to share it with you. So, let's get cracking. All right, friends, if you haven't seen this, Jack is an eighth grader. I made a Minecraft creeper. He has had a blast making everything else he can think of. So, friends, let me show you how to make this Minecraft chicken. The first step is to bring out a cube, and then we use a trick called shift drag where you stretch it to any size that you want, but then you type five in the box. I'm gonna press F for fit view, and I'm gonna line it up with a corner, so you can see I've got it on the grid perfectly. I am also gonna switch to the five millimeter nudge, because that allows this trick. Make it white, control D, one arrow key, and it moves the exact distance it needs to be for the next block. Now a chicken needs to be six blocks, so I'm gonna do control D again. Notice it memorized the movement, so there are my six blocks just like that. I'm gonna grab this whole row, and we need to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks going back. So there's control D and there's one. It memorizes the movement, so now I can do three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have just built the bottom of my chicken. I'm gonna grab all of these and do control D, and now we're gonna hold control and tap the up arrow. That moves it up so we're doing this next row. Now I wanna make my chicken hollow, so I am going to real quickly just touch these, and I'm going to hide them. You could do control H. I'm choosing to just touch the rows, making sure I don't touch any of these, and doing hide. Now because I've done that, I'm gonna cut off all these, but I'm gonna move Jack's little temporary file here with the hide command as well. Let's hide the back row, control H. And let's hide the front row, control H. That way I don't make any mistakes. Now if I look just in this direction and I only touch the top, I'm going to delete those. And when we do show all, we have just hollowed out our chicken's body. Now our chicken needs one, two, three, four of these. We've already got one. So now we're gonna do control D. And you know you've got the right number because of the 24. If you actually do the math, there are 24 blocks there. So control D, control up. There's our second one. Now we need three and four. Control D, control D. And boom, the chicken's body is built. Now we just need to grab the bottom. This time we've got 41, so that means I missed. Let's select again and see if we can get them all. There's all 48, control D. Now this one we're gonna do control up until it shows up on the top. Chicken's body, just like that. Now if we look at the chicken wing, you can see that it's only four down. So what I'm gonna do is do four down. 32 is a good number, because that means you got the eight times the four. I'm going to do control D, I'm gonna move one click out. Let's look at it from the side, and we are just going to delete these pieces on both sides. You can see I missed back there. Let's try that again. Delete, 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 delete. Now this one I can really easily grab all those pieces. 24 is the number we need. Control D and this time I'm just gonna nudge the wing to the other side. Just like that, chicken wings. The chicken head is gonna have four pieces across. So let's do shift select. So there's holding shift, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Control D, and I want to pull them at me once, and then control D to make the next row. So I just made these two pieces right here. We're gonna take that same amount, and it goes all the way up. Let's grab all 16 of those, making sure we've got the right number, and we need two chunks of that. So there's control D, that's the first chunk, and control D, that's the second chunk. Let's quickly make his cool little beak. Once again, we know it is 16, so we can just grab this chunk of four, making sure that we've got the 16, do our control D, two clicks out, and then hold control and do two clicks down. I'm gonna make that the yellow while I'm right here. I'm gonna choose that yellow. And then we need to add these four pieces under here. Once again, I'm going to shift select, 
making sure I have four, do control D, and I wanna pull it towards me. And then those are gonna be red. Let's real quickly fill in the back of his head. If you select carefully, you can get all 16. Notice I didn't touch that one below. I'm gonna do control D, one click back, head created. Now Jack did something cool for these eyes, watch this. Control D and I'm gonna pull it out. But then I'm gonna take the measurement and instead of five, I'm gonna make it 0.1 and then I'm gonna make it black. And I want it to be really black, so I'm gonna go to custom and I'm gonna pull it all the way down to the bottom. Now that I've got that tiny thin piece, I'm gonna do control D on it and move it over to the other side. Bam, chicken face. All right, everybody, it's time to raise this little dude up. Select them all, do your control up one, two, three, four. All right, friends, the leg goes two in and four back. So you can see I've moved two in and four back. I'm gonna do control D and control down. Then I'm gonna change his measurement to point one on this direction and make him yellow. Notice we've got one, two, three, four, five blocks. So I need to move one block forward. All right, let's click on this piece. Do control D, do control down, and then just do control D two more times so that we've got the leg all the way down. Select that and do control D and let's move it across three clicks. And now let's make our foot. Once again, we're gonna click on one of these cubes, do control D and we're gonna drop it. Click on your arrow and type your point one and press enter. Click your yellow. I'm gonna go back to my presets and boom, I've just created that piece. I'm gonna click somewhere else and click on that piece and do control D. I'm gonna move it across one. I'm gonna click on this one and do control D and move it across. I'm gonna look at these from an angle and grab all three. Control D and pull it out. And control D on this last piece and pull it out. That is our chicken's foot. I'm gonna grab all those pieces, control D, and three clicks over, we have got a chicken with his cool feet. Now Jack has added a couple other awesome features. You'll notice that his beak is a darker gold and he's also got that darker gold on top. I'm gonna hide his so I don't accidentally click it when I do this. Now I can easily grab this chunk right here and let's see if we can find that gold he used. I don't see it there, so let's go custom and just make this gold a little darker and then let's copy this number. I'm gonna select it and do Control C. And now when we return to the top, I'm gonna do Control D on this brick and Control up. Hit the letter F for fit view. That makes it super easy to see this. And we're gonna make it 0.1. Press Enter. And then inside this, we're gonna click out here on custom and I'm gonna do control V to paste that code. So now whatever we choose here is matching there. And then I'm gonna do control D and I'm gonna use this to move it over just like that. Friends, there you have it, two awesome chickens. You can see Jack has a different color of gold than me, but you get the idea and you can have fun making yours just a little more awesome. Friends, I have a quick bonus trick for you. I had one student that built these cool little guys and then also went to your creations, selected one of them, and chose to save it as a shape. When you hit create a shape, give it the name, this one was chicken. You could give it a tag. I never lock the part size, but that way I can use that chicken in any project I create from here on out. All right, friends, how about a challenge as we wrap this up? See if you guys can turn this into a Minecraft Tinkercad holiday turkey. If you come up with a cool creation, don't forget you can share it with me almost instantly by clicking on the collaborate button, choosing generate, copy the link, and then you can reach out to me. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, or Gmail. I am HLModTech on all three of those. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Another option is to visit HLModTech.com. First things friends, I have got a tab called Tinkercad. If you stroll through here, you've got the Minecraft Mayhem. If you enjoy these projects, there are many, many other cool Minecraft creatures you can create using the 5x5 five five cube technique. Also, if you make something awesome, you can click on the sweet little built-in messaging app, fill it out, and ship it to me almost instantly. 
Finally, friends, once again, I have to thank Jack for his awesome creations. Buddy, you make the coolest stuff, and I really appreciate you taking time to share it with all of us. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.